Hey there, welcome to iClone. As viewers of my Turtons Travels video series will know, iClone has been a central part of my creative toolkit for over two years now. But what actually is it? Well, let's find out, shall we? iClone is a real-time 3D animation effects and rendering program made by Reillusion. Both it and Reillusion's flagship program Crazy Talk are very much centered around creating, developing and animating digital characters. Optional plugins for iClone enable features such as motion capture and the export of characters, cameras and animations directly into Unreal Engine. For me as a video storyteller, iClone is my digital film set. With it, I can create entire cinematic scenes comprising props, lights, cameras, characters, animations, and dialogue. Also bundled in with iClone is Reillusion's Character Creator program. Simply put, if iClone is your virtual film set, then Character Creator is your casting, makeup, and costume department. And as most stories start with their characters, let's dive right in and have a look at Character Creator 3. Right out of the box, Character Creator has allowed me to make some stunning avatars, like these ones, even including some Dungeons & Dragons figures to help my fellow players visualize the player characters in our campaign, like my half-elf draconic sorceress here, and this crusty ex-soldier. This image shows our entire adventuring party, even including a dragon-born barbarian that I was able to create with repeated baking of morph sliders and some creative custom texture work. iClone's newly included digital human shaders literally add another dimension to skin quality and texture as well, giving your digital characters that little bit extra oomph. Like you can see here on Cass, the AI cockpit assistant in my Turtles Travel series. I gave her skin a very fine hex pattern that's only visible in extreme close-up to reinforce the synthetic nature of her android body. Character Creator is also where you can dress your actors and use a mesh conforming tool to make sure that no stray bits of their anatomy are poking through their shirts. Colour and surface features like roughness, glow and metallic shine are all tweakable. But if the vanilla version of Character Creator isn't enough for you, you can always add one of Reillusion's extra plugins, like Headshot for example. Headshot allows you to create a 3D avatar from a single 2D photograph. Headshot also comes with a mind-boggling range of extra sliders that allow you to tweak any and every part of your character's face and head. So if you're the millimeter accurate plastic surgeon type, then Headshot is definitely the plugin for you. But even without plugins, you can still be some sort of crazed digital tailor come jeweler and deck out your avatars with customized versions of the default wardrobe. Just like I did when I created this avatar of Princess Ashling Duval from the game Elite Dangerous. So, here's our headshot project. Let's export the avatar over to iCloud and see what happens next. Once your avatar is in iClone, you can load a speech file directly onto it, lip sync the dialogue, add expressions with the face puppet tool, play back the result, and you will see that you have created a living, breathing digital actor. Congratulations, darling. Now, where's my Oscar? Ah, so the lady wants an Oscar, eh? Well, let's see what we can do about that. Let's pop back to Character Creator, take the base male avatar, change its skin surface properties to make it all shiny gold, 
give it a suitable Oscar pose. Then pop it back over to iClone. Once there, we can simply resize the avatar to about 18% scale. Attach a primitive shape to serve as a base. And there we go. Voila, madame. One Oscar. Okay, so let's take a look at the nuts and bolts of iClone. Here's a scene from my latest Turgeon's Travels episode. The lighting is a mix of sources. Directional, spotlight, and point lights, as well as a global illumination emissive panel, and a glow effect on the room's holographic TV. iClone can also light a scene using an image-baked lighting source. Now, if all this is beginning to sound a little complicated, then that's because it is. Set design and lighting are entire careers in themselves, after all, and good lighting can make all the difference between a scene looking great or not so great. Realusion know this, so they've filled iClone with extensive lighting features, probably more than most of us will ever need. But if you want to go down that particular rabbit hole, iClone certainly has the tools you'll need to light your way. <laughs> so, that's the lighting. Let's have a look at the cameras. iClone allows you to place up to 30 cameras anywhere you like in the scene, and you can switch between them live on the project timeline. Cameras have focal lengths, depth of field, and can be set to move, to always look or be attached to a specific target, or even follow a predetermined path through a scene. There's also an option to emulate the properties of actual cinematic cameras. Well, that's our lighting and cameras taken care of. Now what about the actors? For me, this is iClone's real strength. There are motion capture plugins available for the program to help with actor animations, but the costs do rapidly start to add up once you head down that road. But if you're even entertaining the idea of mocap at all, you probably know that already. And seen from that perspective, iClone's motion capture products aren't actually that expensive in the big scheme of things. For my part, I'm actually happier using old school hand animation for my videos. I feel it gives me total and precise control over all my digital actors, down to the slightest nuance of an eyebrow or the wrinkling of a nose. I also enjoy hand lip-syncing my character's dialogue. Because I've created all my digital avatars by hand, every one of them has a slightly different facial construction, and so each one tends to pronounce visibles, the building blocks of speech, a little differently. I like that, it makes them more real to me as actors, and I factor that in when I'm lip-syncing the dialogue for them, and even sometimes when writing my scripts in the first place. And when it comes to making my characters move, I tend to use stock base animations and tweak them as required as I go along. iClone has a keyframed motion tool that makes use of transition curves to allow for smooth natural movement, or even jerky robotic movement if that's more what your character needs. So, let's put all of that together and see the end result for this scene. Hi there, I'm Commander Machine, founder and owner of... The Worldcraft Corporation presents a special edition of the World Wise Travel Show, en route to the Distant Worlds 2 Expedition, live with Alice and Cisco. iClone also allows you to add environmental, atmospheric, water and particle effects to a scene, but shiny as they all are, it's best not to be tempted to add too many at a time. It's easy to overcook things, and then the next thing you know...
So, there we are. I hope you've enjoyed my little review of iCloud. There are still more features I didn't cover in this video, and of course Reillusion are always adding new content. In fact, the end of July will hopefully see the release of the Skin Gen update for Character Creator. I'm certainly looking forward to that one. I'll be interested to see what kind of boost it can give to some of my lesser used characters, like good old Gladys here. Hey, pet, I'd certainly not say no to a bit of a makeover. So, that's all from me. As always, do feel free to leave a comment, don't forget to hit like, and do subscribe if you want to catch my next video as soon as it hits the YouTubes. Travel safe out there, 